Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am Nevin from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to show you the best page that you can go to to get news. Uh, social media page, reddit.com. Now, a long time ago, when I moved out of my parents' place, I wanted to have a huge computer system, multiple monitors. That was unheard of at the time. I wanted one of the monitors to have news. I wanted one of the monitors to have weather. The other one to have stock reports, uh, stocks, from, uh, stocks from Toronto, New York. Uh, Japan and one other place I believe it was Russia but anyways I wanted to see if these things would affect one another and how they would affect one another and the page that I went to for the news I just decided I was going to go to reddit reddit is an awesome social media site basically you put news into reddit and then other people upvote or downvote the news the news or pictures or whatever uh, that uh, that is most popular gets pushed to the very top and the stuff that no one's interested in gets pushed to the very bottom this isn't a place where news is generally made this is the place where news internet memes pictures go to this isn't their creation place this is the place where they're discovered and when I first came to this site I couldn't understand one-third of what things were being posted about like scientific means mathematical record so it was about uh, 10 years ago that I first found uh, this site uh, the first social media site that I went to was Shoutwire Shoutwire had a fight with dig I've discovered dig through there and then dig.com had a battle with reddit that's how I found out about reddit and honestly I prefer dig.com more but dig let me show you what happened to dig dig.com changed in a way that was just horrible and be oh it's even different than it was before so dig.com made a 2.0 and it was basically you just kept scrolling down scrolling down to infinity and people didn't like it they should have pulled the plug and gone back to it but anyways everyone abandoned dig it was horrible and i don't know why they just didn't go back but anyways everybody went to reddit reddit got watered down and to the point where most of the articles were things that I could understand and now it's a little further watered down that they call themselves the front page of the internet and really if you don't know what reddit is you're probably in the minority but for those of you who don't this is what I have made this video for interesting videos like this where you can see a bird probably chasing a mouse across the side of a car that might be like mildly interesting so you get subreddits where it's all about transformers it's all about world news it's all about american news if it's not american news it seems to be world news there are a lot of problems with the site but it is uh, it's getting better anyways you sign in as yourself and then you subscribe to reddits or subreddits and then you get information on those subreddits and you get things like leaks leaks come up this is a galaxy s8 case you can tell what it's going to look like a little bit based off the case. Usually before new phones come out, the cases will get leaked. And you'll get an idea of exactly uh, where the camera is, how big it's going to be, stuff like that. And, of course, you get lots of cool pictures. Uh, sometimes Reddit is nothing but pictures. But if you just want pictures, then go to go to 9gag.com. Oh, stuff like this I love to see. Toronto downtown, our Toronto and you get to see things yeah like pictures of toronto way back in the day um this looks like the fairgrounds this must have been the cne i'm pretty sure this is right close to where uh medieval times is but yeah this stuff uh, it's really cool it's really cool i learned things about toronto from the toronto subreddit subreddit that i didn't know before like i think it was in the 50s there were still flying the british flag and we had police that looked like bobbies we were still very british we were canadian but we were uh, we were british and it just it's a it's an interesting comparison and of course lots <laughs> liberal arts degree yeah <laughs> lots of humor unfortunately since this page got super popular the comment sections have definitely gotten watered down and <clears throat> so on 9gag if you see a funny picture you go to comments and hope a captain will tell you exactly what it's about on reddit you're more likely to go to the comments and find something uh, valuable something that 
holds water. Uh, you, you can learn things. It used to be the first comment was always something that you'd learn something about. But, unfortunately, unfortunately, sarcasm, humor, those are the things that gets upvoted these days. And I honestly wish there was another site that I could go to that, uh, another site that I could go to that was just no no sarcasm honestly i have a difficult time understanding sarcasm and when it's out in type it's just it's unthinkable for me to i can't understand it i'm sorry some of you guys are great with that but i am definitely not that guy but anyways yeah reddit.com check it out they call themselves the front page of the internet there's always lots of good stuff going on here things get brought up in this page that affect the world and uh, news outlets are starting to talk about reddit.com. I guarantee you, you have heard of Reddit. It's, uh, it's definitely a very good site, a great site to kill time on, a great site to get in touch with internet memes. These days, everybody at my work is getting in touch with internet memes. Seven years ago when I started this out, um, actually like ten years ago when I started this out, no one understood what an internet meme was and they thought that I was just freaking crazy for saying memes and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm part of the, the seven year club. I've been around longer than that. Honestly, the only reason I even made an identity on Reddit was to, uh, was to, uh, and they don't like it when you do this these days, but I, I was doxing someone a long time ago. There was a guy that threw a dog off of a bridge to, 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 to please some girls and, uh, the dog, uh, had a very horrible time and uh, one place that I knew had found this gentleman's information. I posted it here. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, I was younger at the time, and uh, I love animals, and I really freaking hate people that are cruel like that. Hey, if you're going to be mean to a dog, you know, put it, just put it out of its misery. If, 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 you got, if you got a dog that's in misery, put it out of its misery. This was a dog that was, uh, that was uh, being friendly to people. They picked it up, and they threw it off a very high bridge that uh, had nothing but land and as soon as it, it hit it yelped it was alive I was I was horrified I shouldn't have posted their information but at the time incorrect information was being posted about them and I uh, I doxed them <clears throat> in uh, in computer in computer language I doxed them and uh, I I don't regret I shouldn't have done it but I don't regret it I deleted that post and I won't do it these days uh, and another thing, now the thing about news is news wants you, people on the news want to deliver stuff that will make you go to action. They, they, news corporations want you to get emotional, they want you to get up, they want you to stand up, they want you to do something about it. But unfortunately that works against you on Reddit because uh, Reddit, people get together and form mobs and those mobs Sometimes they get incorrect information. It's amazing how some uh, computer people can understand exactly where you are, how they can locate you based off what's in your background. You get a bird's eye view of uh, the area you are and just identify you. It's crazy. Anyways, a lot of these things are wrong. Bad information gets spread around and uh, we gotta watch that. We gotta make sure that we have the right information. We can't be, we can't be doxing people. We gotta let, uh, we gotta, we have to let uh, police take care of that kind of thing. If you these days, if you want to be a good person, if you think that you have this person's documents and you see something that needs to be identified, then uh, let's uh, let's let's tell local law enforcement. We don't go after them. Uh, let's look up Dusty, the cat. Dusty the cat. Here we go. Know your meme. This was. Uh, this came up a long time ago. So, Dusty the cat is this poor cat right here that uh, two maybe ten year old kids were just tormenting this poor cat, and you could tell that this cat, you could tell that this cat ha had problems. You can see right here they're they're throwing the cat around, they're yelling at it, they're they're tossing it around, and they put it online. And the thing is, so. Most hackers love cats. Most computer people love cats. The internet hate machine loves cats. And if you hurt a cat and the internet hate machine finds out, buddy, you are toast. So anyways, these guys, these guys hurt Dusty. They weren't like punching him, but you could tell that this cat definitely was being abused. 
and uh, you can see right here geez that was a long time ago 2004 2004 it was figured out uh, the internet scene what happened here and the internet hate machine tracked down this person that was uh, treating Dusty bad it turned out to be kids and uh, <clears throat> there was a lot of calls to their family there was a lot of name dropping and eventually the cops were called so this kid got help the cat got to new owners the kid the, the kid got mental help and all around it was a good story in the end but if you're going to dock someone just just tell the local law enforcement let them deal with it let them investigate because sometimes you're so sure that you have the right information and but you don't so stay out of, stay out of that fight maybe just let the internet hate, hate machine deal with that kind of stuff but yeah come on in join the community please this is a great place and uh, there's lots of great stuff here you don't even have to look at what's on the front page you log in you see your stuff and then uh, geez even start your own subreddits if you want post content then it's all good just make sure that you go you follow the rules now this place is different than it used to be it used to be you could have a subreddit on anything anything at all and uh, <laughs> It, uh, it was really interesting when they started bringing in censorship. So that's reddit.com. Check it out. It's great stuff. You can get lost in this page for so long. I'm sure you've had situations where you've gone onto the website looking for one thing and you've come out with a whole different other. This is a beautiful way to, I won't even say waste time. You will learn something. You will learn a lot with this. And uh, yeah, enjoy guys. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And uh, I hope to see you later. Have a good one.